Number one, mom alizikwa seven. Seven ya usiku. So, as I was saying now, mazishi ya mom, sisi tulisimamia kama hatuna viatu. Hatu kwa viatu. Sasa familia mzima ya mama ambaye alikuwa na hope, na future, na good destiny ya watoto wake, wato wameingia street. So, sisi tukaendelea. So, naapata ya nai kona, napata my brother. Naenda kona ingine, napata my brother. Akivuta gampa ande imi, navuta pande ile. The whole family. Mwelele duwa channel ya DJ Sonia. Mnedako nyitoge ni naguhoka wimwera. And today, the previous video, nemo kuiwa age mention, Street Community TV, that's my, our newest baby on board. Negomo introduce, can go them, follow them on Facebook, Instagram, still subscribe on YouTube channel yangu. Na ugekora we hauneri tarea bere kuirore la channel eno ya kwa. Na ugohoe, usubscribe, follow me, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, DJ Sonia. No jokerie gado mono karis karis mobiles. Ogekora wena dena wo the wadi mo. No masherere mwena wa junction ya ruduri na monyo road. Still you can call them via 0716-281494. As your next part in motherboard repair and replacement. Toa jie mwgeni wako watu igwe rugano rwake. Ole aloha na karibu sana. How are you? I'm fine. You good? Of course. Hey wakana ena jie ge. Mono makeria. Kau makuk, nyuma aku kau Hey hey, doko mus mus. Oh doa dah gaya ni. Ah, mula ready. Channel ini no, nida aku gaya dia. Mari toma aku aje tahu Alex, ama Wanjiro. Alex Wanjiro, eh yang dia majin aku. Ni goita youth chairman. Eh ada lagi mana maju itu youth chairman. Na in fact, the other candidate was JCM, or the Karawahara Bypass. Na haku honoka, haku honoka ne goro, na shiko. We mo honoku. De mo honoku to dunne jika, to dunne jika shiko, shiko siya. Ne jika shiko siya la. Yes. Now, ready. Luga no waku to dunne jika no. Ne dunne na muno. No ni to, no ni to kwe kate, ni to kuga dia kuro. Kidogo kidogo. Sindio. Aya, akwanza ni ni mali ni metoka. Naishi karatina, amani metoka nyeri county. Na iyo experience yote ukondi onili, nili patana na yao. So kwa ufupi sana, I'll talk about how what happened and where I am. So, kitu ya kwanza ni kusema kwamba sisi tumezariwa tukiwa watoto wane. Four kids. Four kids. Wanaume watatu na msichana moja. Na I'm the last born. So, when the last born? Eh, mii ni last born, eh? Eh, lakini siliangi, lakini kibidi utalia tu. So, Eh, sisi ni watu ambao walikuwa mezaliwa wakiwa na hopes na vision and uh, a destiny to fulfill but accidentally it was cut short kwa sababu kwa kila kwa kila maisha mwanadamu lazima kuwe kuna wale ambao wana kushikilia ili uweze kufika ama kufikishia yani ukinyanirie shione kisi yako so and for last it was our mom. Our mom was a uh, okay mama yangu akiniza mimi mimi nilipata akiwa single mother. So it means my mom alikuwa katika ndoa. Na the funniest thing is that we share one mother but different fathers. Kwa sababu wakati mama alipotoka katika ile ndoa ya kwanza E, na kahisi kwamba ata give up or aka give up akaenda biashara zingine kama anyone else any other woman there to look for a better life mahali alienda kusetto that is where another hope came to get married or to try marriage for the last time and when she was trying that marriage at the last time that is when now I was born. 
or she gave birth to me. And at that particular time, my siblings walikuwa katika ile boma ya ule mzee mwingine. Na kuwa katika hiyo boma eh, hawakuweza kwenda shule. Matiadhomire, mationire mweke wa kuthoma. Eh, ni nani da shiaro thini wa family ki kana the hemuthuri ungi. No my mom akiona ni wega a pick my sister. E nigetha amuteithie kulera na ge pick my sister na kulia tu ekorire ama mali tulijipata tukiwa sasa tunaishi na tunaseto na ule mzee ni maraba nikisikia mimi nimezaliwa na kuru bahati lakini ule mzee ambaye walipatana na ye mama yangu alikuwa mwanabiashara alikuwa anauza zile masufuria za kitambo za steel za chuma hiyo ndio biashara alikuwa anafanya and uh, so he she met this man namba alikuwa half caste so mimi ni mzaire watu ambao wajui wa sana <laughs> kiswahili mingi kujifunza unaona ikifika ni kiswahili mi uzungumza so my dad was a mzaire mm -hmm. eh, lakini sasa alikuwa tu mtu wa hizi magari ya masafa marefu mm -hmm. he was a successful man businessman eh? but uh, we didn't we didn't have good time ya kujuana na ye e tugene hidari ate god na mother's love father's love eh? kwa sababu hii kitu ili happen mom akaniza just for a few years e eh, mom aka akaaga no what happened eh? mom alikuwa kati alikuwa amezaliwa kati ya familia ya watoto kumi ama tisa na katika hawa watoto hao madugu zake na dada zake e, walikuwa watu ambao yani mama hakupenda sana kuingiana sana na watu alipenda tu kuishi kivi yake kufanya mambo yake kulea familia yake because that is that is hiyo ndio wazo la kila mwanamke aweze kujikalisha alee familia yake kwa hivyo mama hakuwa na uhusiano wa karibu na familia ambayo ilikuwa za dugu zake ama madada zake Now what happened is that uh, tukua tunale mama anatulea kwa uzuri kwa upole eh, akiwa akiwa na matumaini kwamba eh, one day one time there will be a seed that will germinate out of this my generation So tukaendelea na maisha na like any other parent uno kulea mtoto vizuri nini nini hakuna kitu tulikuwa tunakosa life was so successful it was amazing smooth unaona but kitu ilianza kufanyika na tuko maraba my sister hajasoma lakini ni mkubwa na wakati na what na naongea nazungumza kuhusu that is 19 mamangu alikufa 1997 so nilikuwa na seven years and uh, now na, nazungumza sasa mahali ni kwa sababu naweza kumbuka unajua kuna mambo nyinyi mnasemanga watoto hawakumbukangi mambo kuna mambo nao yaona mtoto akiyaona aki lakini ataikumbuka so mimi kulingana venye nilikuwa na, uh, na tunalelewa hata nakumbuka there is one day. my mom was a harsh mom so i believed that nitatoka katika familia ambayo nikitoka tu kwa maisha hivi i'll be someone my mom hakuwa kupembeleza and she was a very beautiful woman very hard working very you know interactive na watu nini unaona ndio nakumbuka kitu siku moja uh, my sister hata angekatiwa angeongea na mwanaume hata ukiangalia my sister mgongo saa hii nikamwambia kuje atufungulie nini uone huku my mom alikuwa na to discipline properly kwa sababu alikuwa ameshaona shida ambayo yuko katika familia yao na angetamani sana hii shida ikuje ikashika watoto wake alikuwa anataka kuona we might be the ambassador of that family one time in life 
So in discipline, in discipline matters alikuwa moto. Hata nakumbuka kuna siku alinichoma na kisu kwa mguu wakati kwa sababu hata mimi nikikuwa nilikuwa na na unini mwingi sana. Nilikuwa na I was notorious. Hiyo naweza sema. I was very very notorious. So siku moja mimi mam amekusanya wageni wake ama wa invite, amepika kuku. E, mimi na mimi sasa kabla wa wageni wafike, kakuku kana ivia pale. E, na unajua kitambo kulikuwa na kauchoyo fulani hata kachapati ulikuwa una eh wageni kwanza yeah. so mimi nikaona kabla wageni wakuje sinaweza ingia kwa zuvuria nitoe miguu mbili tatu yes, and i was so generous mm -hmm. na wala watu ambao pia saa hii wanaona nikuwa generous generosity ilianza kitambo so mimi nikachukua ile nyama nikapea huyo nikapea huyo nikapea huyo na mimi si hesabu hata sijui kuku inakuanga na nini ngapi Pats ngapi? Kumbe nilibakisha moja. Juu nimechukua mugu moja, mugu moja, wings mbili. So, nimebakisha tuka mgongo. Mamu kukuja na wagenu wake, you can imagine the disaster. She was forced to kufanya mambo kwa tarishia chakula ingine. Lakini, I was to be disciplined that night. So, a a baada. So, mamu wakati wagenu walienda. Alichukua zile kamba za zile wireless. Ah, zile nini za waya za si, za, za telephone eh? mm. akazifunga mara kama tatu nikachukua maisisa akaambiwa nishike mkono anifunge mikono na miguu mama akaingiza kisu kwa stove akanichoma ikiwa a symbol of never do again unaona mimi kwa uchungu nitaona ni kama huyu mama ananichukia lakini kuna sembo hata ukiniangalia mguu hapa na kuanga sijui hata kama iliisha na kuanga ni aliniweka maalama ya kisu ikiwa ishara ya never do that again so all the same na hiyo ikaisha na tukaendelea na maisha na akanipeleka hospitali and all that eh? my dad was coming in going out coming in going out ni kama tu venye tu mzee anakuja lakini Unaona hao watu wa kujificha ficha nini aja accept marriage ni kama na you know all that eh? so sikuwa ni me get your father's love now what happened it is one day ama mama kahisi ni kwamba anaugua ameanza kuugua na alipoanza kuhisi anaugua what came in mind it is that it might happen very soon kwa sababu kifo ya mamangu ni kifo ilikuwa ya soon ile tunasemanga gone too soon eh? that was it so akahisi kwamba mimi mimi mahali ni mafika maybe in the next two months mi sitakuwa so what I'm my mama alikuwa na ugonjwa ya kifafa ya kuanguka na pia alikuwa na ugonjwa ya kupumua damu sometimes angekaa tu damu inatoka kwa masikio kwa mapua so alijihisi kwamba anaenda na she was so worried about us that is me and my sister my sister pia ye mwenyewe hajajua mahali vizuri tunaishi ye tu ni gari pu tuende maraba hivyo so mom akatuchukua na wakati alituchukua akatuleta ushago na karatina lakini hiyo wakati alitureta kwanza alitureta na aka aka akaenda so mimi na my sister na sasa anatuleta katika familia ambayo hawana uhusiano mzuri. Unaona? Yaani ni wala watu wa kujikalisha. Ni kama sasa wewe we, niko na robi, watu wako ushago, nipate kichenye napata, nini nisahau watu wagesha ushago, ni sote nirudi huko. You can imagine the situation, eh? So that is what happened. Mama katuleta. Na lakini kulingana na venye alikuwa anaona, anaona kama hata fikisha aliweza kufikisha hiyo kiwango ingi na akarejea tena wakati alirejea alitunakumbuka mimi hiyo siku nilikunia kwa kitanda juu she came with a lot of gifts unaona alikuja na nini kila kitu eh chochote ambacho kineza, kineza furahisha mtoto and nikakula and i felt oh mom she is she is doing great eh? and she went back now going back hata akukaa two weeks news ikakuja mama amepass and na amepass 
mzahai akiwa job na hai, hajui ni mamu hakuwa meleta mzahai nyumbani sasa mzahai maybe kurudi ama kulingana venye huwa na imagine arirudi akapata things have changed no where to trace the son no where to trace the wife so mamu akafa akapelekwa my, my uncle alikuwa anafanya hospitali ya alikuwa nurse na alikuwa anafanya hapo general hapo hapo PGH hiyo anakuru so hapo ndio alipelekwa ile kitu ingine naweza kumbuka ya mam ni kwamba alipokufa na sasa tumeingia we have now be transferred to another family that hatukuwa tumekuwa na uhusiano mzuri na sasa hii familia yote sasa imekusanywa yote sasa hata wale wametolewa kwa hule wameletwa sasa hapa wewe chukuliwa na huyu sasa tukawa tumegawanywa wewe utachukuliwa na huyu anko wewe utachukuliwa na huyu anti na huyu mwingine na ikaenda hivyo and uh, sasa ni kupanga mambo ya mazishi na mambo ya mazishi ikaanza kupangwa nini uh, it was not it was not a good picture and a good experience for us kwa maana in fact hii mother's day ambayo imepita hata wenye walikuwa karibu na mimi niliwaambia hata you can even those who saw the post i niliandika kutoka kwa uchungu ambayo imeishi kuwa ndani yangu and the moment i get a such interview i call it a healing process But because wakati mamu ilifika ni kuzikwa mamu alitolewa na kuru mwili kwa inaletwa karatina na that was the last time ile ya mamu kuniletea chakula kuniletea food that is the last time i saw her i didn't even get time kuenda mochari in fact sanduku ya mamu ililala ile nyumba ambayo nilikuwa nimelala na in fact hivyo uh, unasema mcomedian niliingia ndani yes, ya hiyo sanduku you see now the funniest thing ni kwamba wakati mazishi ilifika eh, mam mazishi ya mam niliacha history ever in our village na as i was saying now mazishi ya mam sisi tulisimamia kama hatuna viatu Hatukuwa viatu watu walikula watu walikula kabla ya mazishi kwa sababu ilizikano wa seven so you can imagine all that pain nimekaa nayo now after that uh, my sister and my brothers wakapata watu wa kuwashika mimi nikashikwa na huyu but because hakuna kitu ya maana kama wewe mzazi na uombe maisha marefu ule watoto wako wakue na waondoke ukue sasa hauna jambo lingine kwa maana wakati wale tuliingia katika mikononi mwao mtu wa kwanza kupotea ni my sister my sister alipata tu kijana kama mislead akapata ball kwa sababu hakukua watu ambao wanaweza understand msichana vizuri wamkalisha chini badala ya kumuonyesha amefanya makosa wamwembrace wamsaidie waangalie situation yenye ameachwa na mamake aona hakuna hope walianza kumpiga naona so my sister akatoka kama yeye kama mkubwa wetu akatafuta life kwenda kutafuta life mwenye alimoa ni sawa alimchukua tena kukaa my sister akatoka marriage my sister ako na watoto watano different fathers because one she never got to school two she never got someone who can assist her who can advise her and who can show her the right way the other brother akachukua nini ya babake ule wa pande ile babake hakuwa na mienendo mizuri akawa mkora akawa ni mtu ambaye anatafutwa ni fine school akawa ni mtu anatafutwa ni askari every time wanted unaona akapigwa na mob hivyo and since my brother alipotea kutoka hiyo time i have 10 years sijaiona my brother hivyo ni tamutafuta wapi sijai muona my other brother kaingia mtaa kuingia mtaa sinikuwa chokora my brother akaingia huko 
mimi nami nikaendelea kusoma kidogo kidogo lakini kulingana na yale kazi zilikuwa huko na nini na nini you know these people let me tell you amba, watoto ambao wameachwa mayatima ni watu ambao wanahitaji upendo wa hali ya juu hata kama amekosea hata kama anaenda hivi you never quick to judge all to to, to discipline that person because anakuwa ina sensitivity area ambayo she can do he or she can do anything so mimi kuona wenzetu wametoroka wame nyumbani na sasa sina dugu ama ambaye yako nyumbani hata mimi nikaingia so i'm talking about uh, 1998 mimi 98 nilikuwa street I was now not that that is where now niliingia katika maisha ya street. Unaona? Sasa sasa familia mzima ya mama ambaye alikuwa na hope na future na good destiny ya watoto wake wote wameingia street. So sisi tukaendelea. So napata na ikaona napata my brother. Naenda kona nyingine napata my brother. Akivuta gamu pande hii mimi navuta pande ile. The whole family. My sister naye ako pande ile anajaribu kujaribu ndoa aziingiani angalau aone kama ataweza kutusaidia so family yote ikaingia huko but god is great mimi ni, nimekaa kwa street eh, six good years na miaka miwili ya ama mitatu ya street ilikuwa ni miaka ya tabu kwa maana pale hakuna mahali ambapo unalala hakuna kitu chochote ambacho umepanga utakula chochote ambacho unakipata ndicho unakula na I remember nikiwa street eh, kuna hoteli moja ambayo pia hadi saa hii iko ilikuwa inaitwa Starbucks. Starbucks iko on, on your way to just Karatina hapo. Hiyo hoteli ndio ilikuwa the newest hotel in town. Na kwa hivyo ilikuwa na overflow ya watu na pia chakula kilikuwa king. So tulikuwa tunaenda pale nyuma kwa hizo dustbin na chakula ambacho unaweza kukitafuta ni chakula ambacho wewe mwenyewe umekikula kimeanguka ukaona si vyema kuichukua kinafagiliwa kuna takataka ya kutoka rooms everywhere inaweka kwa dust kwa sababu asubuhi lazima gari ikuje ichukue takataka wewe unaingia hapo saa kumi na moja unachokora unatoanisha kama ni ndazi kama ni ugali kama ni kuku unaweka kwa container ya zesta unaenda unaasha moto una unakula kulala unalala kwa mitumba that is the one time mitumba haiko ime ime ime, ime kwa restrictions so kuna bakara unaenda unaingia kwa bakara unalala ama wakati mwingine unaingia chini ya rori unalala hiyo rori ujui venye itatoka ama itaenda ikukanyange wakati mwingine unaingia kwa gari nyingine hapo unalala there is a time i remember niliingia kwa rori kwa gari nyingine hapo eh nikaingia nikalala nimelala na magamu zangu nini nini unaona ile E, ka, ka feeling ya kulala so unalala hadi 5 hadi 11 mimi kuamka nilijipata nakuru kumbe gari isha travel hiyo usiku nilijipata nakuru lakini chokorani nani si anatafuta tu trailer na anarudi so it was a very bad experience eh? but nikiwa katika mwaka wa wa alafu monorization kumonorizewa ukiwa street uko na chances zaza za kuwa sodomized eh? unakuwa sodomized na wengine unakuwa monorize but all that i knew that it was happening for a better tomorrow you see so maybe the version ambayo tulikuwa tumeona ilikuwa ipinduke ikuwe version nyingine so after that ndio nilipata mtu ambaye wa ku mtu tu good samaritan from nowhere hai mambo uko aje nini umelala aje mtu anakuuliza umelala aje na umelala chini but i understand eh? Eh uko poa uko nja twende pale kule hivyo hivyo. So it happened for one good year. Hivyo mambo uko aje nini utakula hivyo. Alikuwa na verify if this person qualifies or like qualify to go with this kid in my family. And that is now where the process ilianza. Nikaenda na e, e, huyo alikuwa wanakuru. Tukaenda na familia yake. Tukaenda na e, uko na kuru kumbe emu yake and this is where now the key is some of the people who comes and adopt children they should also be very careful kwa sababu ule mtu anaweza kuwa kuna agenda ingine ambayo anataka kufulfill na wewe kwa sababu nilipoenda na ule mzee ule mzee alinipiga sana katika hiyo familia alinifanyia mambo 
haja yake haiko inisaidie ila nimsaidie katika kazi zake unaona nimsaidie katika ni kuwe slave wake ingali ananipea malazo hakuna anani, pesa hakuna mshahara sisomi ya kukula na kuishi ni mchungie ngombe na ikaenda to an extent eh, even ikawa ni kama anataka kuni 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 sodomize unaona sasa kwa sababu ni mtu ambaye i don't know i don't know the mind wo, ilikuwa kwake na vita so nikaenda kwa chief hapo Kirengero hapo tulikuwa hapo juu eh, nika, nikarudishwa karatina hiyo ni mwaka moja imepotea hivyo na ukumbuke nimespend nyingine mbili nimespend mbili pale kwa street eh ile ni moja nyingine sasa nikarudi tena kurudi sina okay unaweza jiuliza hatukuwa na watu so uh, the moment ile ya guardia story no ya process ya transformation gisho ka hau ha ukorwati ni to akorio to na bad experience especially when we were listening our mom o kwatende madiko matire irato eh madiko mariro eh bere ya gudikano tondu mama githikiro da emwe hoine the reason the reason ni tondu no akwa no acereiro kwa na line nene then ginya gari ya yari na mwire igithuka tondu yari pick up hedio at that particular those years pick up most nation ya koreto ike ye kwa mire igithukira fara Eh, regardless ya kuma hau murerereru mtu ajia kuone ni, ni brothers ya mom ni sisters the uncles in the house and uh, ni ndo au kwa mom na ke dare na relationship wako na hiyo relationship very close so eh, ndio maana ikachangia wengi wetu ku, kutoka nyumbani mapema my sister kupata mimba ya mapema na kuanzia hapo hapo ndio maisha ilianza kubadilika ndio tukajipata kwa street kwenda kwa street sasa my brother kwa this side the other one here my sister na jaribu marriages ndio at least one kama anaweza tusaidia lakini it it did not bear good fruits finally mimi kuka after two years nikuwa to the same same street na wenze na my my siblings ndio mimi nilibahatika kupata mtu ambaye amependezwa na mimi ama Mungu akanitumia mtu kunitumia mtu lakini ule mtu alikuwa atumike ili kuokoa maisha yangu alizidi kuirudisha mahali ilikuwa kwa sababu wakati alinichukua nili hope that something good is coming but only to come and realize ilikuwa of his own potential unaona haikuwa it in benefit ilikuwa yeye mwenyewe a benefit ike katika mambo zake so mimi nikaenda na kuru nikalisha ngombe nikafanya kazi ngumu sasa hiyo unafanya kazi kwa sababu hata ujui jinsi ambavyo utarudi nyumbani so inabidi tu ufanye ikafika hata wakati mwingine sasa ni kama sasa huyu mtu anataka kunisodomize eh? na hapo ndio nilichukua hatua ya kutoroka kwa sababu ni kutoroka nilitoroka kutoroka nikaenda kwa chief chief akanielekeza kwa police station wakanibukia gari eh, no wakan wako wakabuku gari Land Cruiser lakini haikukuja so kukaa tu hivi nikaona sina otherwise nikalala hiyo siku hii siku nyingine nikatafuta means za kurudi na nikarudi kurudi tena kwa street E, nimekaa mwaka mmoja nje kurudi tena nimerudi tu kwa ile hali nilikuwa e, kuhuruo ni ale age you know du ona ni da thera thera kidogo to ni da kuda ikaraga ni da thera theraga so kurudi sasa una imagine unarudi sasa kwa uchafu tena hiyo mambo zote lakini nilivumilia e, lakini bali nilianza ku embrace mambo ya kufanya sasa kazi naenda na osha e, na osha cho naosha hizo hoteli na patio mandazi ambayo imekauka na kula chakula ambayo imeganda ime, imekauka and i took it positively kwa sababu ndani yangu nilikuwa nahisi kwamba kuna siku ambayo itafika mambo itabadilika na nitoke street ulitoka street so street nilitoka eh, uyo ni mtu wa pili sasa mwenye alinichukua akanichukua tukaenda naye e, katika county ingine e, na katika hiyo wakati ma, mas, ma, ma, masomo bado ilikuwa yalipiwa ya, but after 2000 that is where now free education ili ili, ili nini
after kukana hiyo familia wakazidiwa na, na maisha ikawa ngumu wakaona ni vyema sasa wahame warudi katika sasa ushago nao kurudi ushago hawakuwa na space so ilibidi sasa wanipeane katika watu wetu sasa watu wetu wananiona after 15 good years so kuniona kuni embrace hivyo nini kunipokea nini nini lakini bado majuto iko and i still felt that no i don't fit here so i went back to the street again so going back to the street because god had a purpose for me akanitumia familia ingine ya tatu mimi nimeona familia karibu tano mother father ivo tano so huyo naye sasa wakati amekuja kunichukua nilikuwa at least niko mkubwa hata mambo ya sasa ile gum nini nimeacha kwa sababu 15 good years lazima ukume ume reform it like ali hub so kukuja ni kuanza kufanya kazi za kawoch hivyo 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 lakini huyu mama alikuwa connected na an organization or an institution ambayo ilikuwa inachukua watoto wa street and that was a children's home lakini tukipatana na yeye si kuwa i was not a man i was still kipi na huyo mama may she rest in peace nilienda kwa huyo mama nikamwambia nimefikisha umri ya kutairiwa na sina any idea of how huyo mama alitoa pesa yake akanilipia kanisa because hiyo time season ilikuwa ya, ya, ya watu kwenda season ya, kuta, ya nini institution eh? nikaenda church no lakini ile deal alikuwa anacheza huko children's home ikakwama na niko sasa niko the, the last week ya kutoka 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 church na ilipofika lazima utoke mimi nilitoka nikarudi street siku nimepona in fact ile siku hiyo deal iliiva nilienda bado i was still breathing sasa akanichukua and there was kulikuwa na sheria fulani ilikuwa ifuatiliwe ya kuokota kufagia street children so i invite each and every person who is interested atoke kwa sababu asipotoka tulikuwa tunasikia wanapeleka hapa wa momo and wa momo the treatment there it's quite different so mimi nika make choice nikasema kama liwe liwalo mi wacha ni join we join to kwa watu 14 na nikaenda children's home ambayo iko mahali kunaitwa dhongoma eh, dhongoma children's home iko along ukifika tu nyeri wa bogo farm hapo mimi nikaingia kuingia out of sasa huko na huko hiyo children's home na ilikuwa na sponsors na ilikuwa na other even NGOs akina afya tu at that particular time kulikuwa na vikundi zingine zikuwa zinaitwa street family so kulikuwa walikuwa na donate walikuwa na supportiwa na ukiingia huko kulikuwa na so many courses vocation courses hivyo hivyo carpentry welding hivyo agriculture beekeeping or all that na kulikuwa pia na sponsors so mimi kuingia tu pale another experience ni hapo kwa sababu that, that is now i felt a parent is important because hiyo children hiyo children's home ilikuwa na boda na ilikuwa na day na kulikuwa pia na visitings and visiting zote mimi sijai siko ipata mtu akuni visit instead a friend of mine alikuwa ni invite wakifika ni mahali watoto wanatembelewa mimi naenda kwa kona mahali natulia huko na nawaza tu mambo ya maisha yangu but at least nilipata mabesti wananiita kuja tukule hivyo hivyo because kuja huko ni kuletea tu watoto chakula eh? then it happens on may kuna wazungu hata kama hata saa hii i think wako wanakujanga every may every year So mimi nikao tu nimetulia tu mahali na nalia tu huko nikijuaza tu what happened and all that eh? mzungu mmoja ambaye alikuwa ni dem aka get interested kujua why is this child so lonely so ndipo nilianza kufunguka nikamuelezea all oh, what happened na at that particular time hakuna kitu angefanya but alini promise i will come back next year at time like this na mimi nikangoja nikaendelea kufanya kawaida nini nini but alipokuja that is where now the alex you see here it is through that transformation kwa sababu alipokuja niliweza kusoma kuendelea na masomo nikaendelea na masomo na after that tukaanza program mimi mwenyewe nika propose program ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa exit program ya yeyote atakayepitia hiyo children's home 
apitie hiyo program hiyo program iko na project hizo project i embrace hizo project kwa sababu hata hizo project ndio nilifanya nikatoka children's home because the aim and the vision of that project ni kuja kutengeneza and to prepare someone for tomorrow so we utoke nje waachia wengine nafasi so nikawa chairman wa hiyo project na mimi children's home nimetoka 2014 Eh, mimi nimefanya currently sasa hivi nimefanya business nimefanya sales certificate zangu zikiwekwa hapa zinafika karibu huko so many eh, na but currently what now i specialize ni mambo ya marketing marketing sales executive an active sales man with more than 8 year experience and uh, from there nilitoka nikaenda Meru kwenda Meru kwenda Meru pia sasa nimeenda nikiwa mzima nikiwa nimejikalisha nini nikapata familia nyingine ikanichukua and now this family it was the desire now the determination because whatever i got into that family the life nilipata wakiwa na kaa ndiyo sasa nili desire and out of that desire that is now the life i am in today let me ask mm-hmm. i nataka we encourage watu wawili watatu mudwe na maisha like hana family the relative wa memudi zone ako all alone mudu tosho gemu iratea ah kitu ya kwanza i would urge that person first you accept kubali it happened and you cannot even reverse it number two, ile ile desire ama ile determination ulikuwa nayo kwa sababu apart from kuzaliwa apart from kusomeshwa kuna kitu ambacho inaikuanga ndani ya mtu ni kiungu ni kitu tu inakujanga tu as in you feel i want to be like this take steps focus on that because hiyo ndio tu yenyewe umebaki nayo that is the only thing take step and focus and focus you are good to go, you are good to go. and uh, because of that uh, then something else be positive be positive because you want a positive outcome now being positive it means grab each and every opportunity because your story ni ni kukati nimekat after that nimepitia processes zingine nimekuwa watchman hapa Karen nimekuwa houseboy mtu ambaye ana kazi yako tu ni nguo tu fuangi lakini mtu amekuachia nyumba we una, unaamka for una prepare mzee una prepare everything and this is a true story alafu we from there wewe unakaa ni kama mbochi wa hiyo nyumba so grab each and every opportunity kwa sababu driving yangu driving license ambayo niko nayo iko na experience ya 10 years nilitoa kwa katika hiyo kazi ambayo nilikuwa nimeandikwa kama maid mimi naamka naosha nini nilikuwa nalipo 1300 mandiri nika save nika save nikafanya driving driving yangu nilifanya 2013 so take grab that opportunity because you don't know in those opportunities that is where you gonna change your destiny so uh, and believe you can make it another thing is that mimi nimekuwa msewa church eh uh, na kutoka from all the beginning and that's why you see nikitoka hapa napata mwingine nikitoka hapa napata mwingine now the problem the issue ambao niko nayo the challenge eh? my sister ameza watoto ako na watoto watano my 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 aunt come retire eh ingawa nimepitia mambo mingi kwa sababu eh i have lost most of my friends close friends nime lost even my boss tukiwa na ye na ikasemekana mimi ndio nimemuua so i'm telling you you gonna go a lot and when a problem comes especially that challenge ambayo ilikuja a challenge comes to prepare you for the next challenge if you don't win from this challenge if i couldn't win from the from that scenario i couldn't able even to manage to be here because life is full of challenges and those challenges are the one that defines your destiny so the challenge now i have is that nimejaribu kuweka biashara i have tried to think big mimi nime 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 nimejaribu kuweka kampuni eh kampuni ko registered iko na certificate na nikajaribu pia kuweka eh, kuiweka ku, 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 si kufikiria tu kuiweka mbali 
kampuni ilikuwa na checkbook and uh, i have even those documents here you can see the mind why did i have that kind of mind and vision it is to understand the level ile mama yetu alituacha as the last born i can able to view the entire family our family ile mashida iko so when i was to put up a business i would put a business that will able to satisfy each and every one from the the little one to the to the big one and also to the generation but the problem is that mimi nilipigwa na corona kidogo eh biashara ikarudi chini eh na iliporudi chini na mambo zingine ikabidi niifunge but sahi na jikusanya eh nione kama nitaweza kuirejesha kwa sababu yeye ni biashara ili kwa na vision kubwa kwa sababu kama umerejesha I have inco, certificate of incorporation na kupata hizo vitu si rahisi eh, iko na checkbook and uh, so I'm trying now to see where at least I can get uh, an opportunity a capital where I can able now to bring that business back and not only that where I have a desire I am full of compassion watu ambao wamekaa na mimi they can tell you and the the heart of the reverend and my heart is iko hivi kwa sababu mimi ni mtu mimi hata siku inaweza isha ama wiki bila kama sija mungu atajaniletea kijambo tu like the other day i met a man a man of the age of my father analilia mikononi mwangu naambia sina anything to eat just buy for me food and i had 200 shillings only for me nikamnunulia so in future i want to have an initiative or organization ambayo it accommodate each and every one and that is kind of a children's home yes no matter how many years i will must establish that one kwa sababu if it was not that process i couldn't have made it Hinga kwa hapa. Hinga kwa hapa bado ungekuwa tu uko kwa street yeah. bila kujijua but kuna watu walikushika mkono that's why wengi oh, sana. Mm. Wengi sana na wana wana walionishika mkono wherever they are and uh, I want to really appreciate. I didn't disappoint. And you can even see I've never disappointed you. And one thing I'll promise you is that I am going far. I will pray that God awake until the desire ambao ulikuwa unataka kuona huu mtoto mahali atafika afike you don't know i might be a help to your son who will be stranded somewhere in life you know so that is a, um, praying that god will enable me to achieve and also to connect another thing is that this life it is about live networking kaa na watu vizuri respect people ukiambiwa wacha hii wacha ile ukiambiwa elekea hapa elekea hapa eh, because there are some people who already have seen your destiny even before you have seen it just like god was telling jeremiah i knew you before you were born it means god had seen jeremiah before even jeremiah would thought of about his future so mtu akikwambia wacha hivi wacha hivi wacha hivi wacha kwa sababu anajua majuto ya baadaye thank you so much for coming I'm happy. Uko social media? Mimi niko social media. Nimeingia tu, nimechanuka chanuka tu hivi juzi juzi. Mimi hata sikuvaa poa nime Hata simu nimeanza kununua Android juzi juzi. Nilikuwa na kababu. Nilikuwa na unaona in fact aka. Hii simu ime survive. Yes. Yes, hiyo simu ndio ni nimekuwa ni survive nayo. Na hii sita hii tupa na sita ipe mtu. Iko na memories. Iko na So niko na social whatever what is that Facebook Facebook na jitanga Alekis Alekis Wanjiro na TikTok Alex underscore Wanjiro 254 na YouTube Alex Wanjiro Instagram Alex Wanjiro and uh, wapi kwingine <laughs> so yeah maybe a pesa number kwa mtu ambaye ange ange feel tu ange...
Still, Meske, you can be a motivational speaker. Of course, me, I have a lot. If when you two time in a to pick a kisoko. Hey, share out your number. Huh? Anyone when you go up and and is attacking on the issue of the Nawaki. I'll be I'll be very grand, mm -hmm. and I'll feel delighted. Kwa sababu ni meona mengi. You can share the number. Yeah. Na venye ni kona namba mingi, lakini mtatumia tu zote. The main, the main one. Mm -hmm. My number is 0710-445-873. 0710-445-873. Ukini text, nita receive. Ukini text, what's up, I will reply. All that. Thank you so much. Tupatane Sunday Church. <laughs> Mwirae lwa chanele ya DJ Sonem. He, roga naruwa muthi, niruwa rai habata, yupu nwa adhoma. Ka udo, natu, awure toa jitigo toa reki ohana. From my side, I was int introducing Street Community TV. Go follow them on Facebook, subscribe on your YouTube, on their YouTube channel, Street, Street Community TV. Utawapata hapo. Digiriga nwago shokedi ya gado, karis, karis, mobiles for being part of this. Wena the nawadi mono masherere mona wa town ya Nairobi CBD junction ya Ruduri na Monyo Road. You can call them via 0716-281494. Still follow them on Facebook, Karis Karis Mobes. We how we just subscribe to YouTube yangu. Kindly subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, all over us DJ Sonia. Till next time. Igoruri adhane. <laughs>